Dramatic acting, singing, Cynthia Pepper does it all in this 1963 episode of Wagon Train, with Robert Fuller and the amazing cast of that long-time running series. I have to admit, this is one of my favorite Western series TV shows. This episode was called, The Sandra Cummings Story. Sandra Cummings becomes the lead in a musical troupe. When she joins the wagon train, Cooper Smith takes an interest in her daughter Paula against Sandra's wishes. The guest star is Rhonda Fleming, and she plays Cynthia's mother. Miss Fleming is best known for her movie Spellbound with Gregory Peck and Out of the Past with Robert Mitchum. In this scene, you'll see Cynthia's ability to trade lines with the best of Hollywood. You had no right. No right. He could have been killed. And do you know how wrong you were about him? Well, I'll tell you. I just saw him. Yes, Mother, even your beating didn't make him stop seeing me. Does that, does that sound like a philanderer? You should have seen his face. It was all bruised. Oh, darling, don't you understand? I just can't let you get involved with a man who doesn't love you. How do you know he doesn't? Just what makes you such an expert? You're always telling me I should trust your judgment. You've had more experience. Well, I'm beginning to wonder just what kind of experience that was. Paula! Is that why you have so little faith in other people? Because you judge them by yourself? Stop that! Yes, that could be what really killed Daddy. A broken heart? Thank you, Mother. That makes it a lot easier. I'm meeting Coop tonight. And I want to marry him. And I'm praying that he'll ask me. As Coop, played by the handsome Robert Fuller, goes for a walk, he chances upon Cynthia Pepper singing a beautiful love song. Here am I, where is love, clouded sky, where is love, where with mother tonight about you I told her she had no right to do what she did maybe she does Paula to try to keep us apart to have you beaten being my mother doesn't make that right I told her there was no way she could keep me from seeing you I I told her I was in love with you 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 don't love me do you see it on your face. Paula, I... It's all right. I shouldn't have said it. I had no right to. Listen to me, Paula. After all, it's, it's a man's place to bring up such things. And you've never given me any reason that you would. Or even hope. You've never kissed me. Or, or even tried to hold my hand. You've been such a perfect gentleman always. Coop, I'm sorry. Paula, I'm the one who's sorry. 
Paula, I've done a terrible thing. No, you haven't. It's just my silly imagination. But please don't blame yourself. You'll only make me feel more ashamed. Paula, I've got something to tell you. It's not going to be easy to hear nor to say. But it's got to be said. Paula, I've been using you. I've hurt you. I've hurt my friends, and I've watched myself turn into something I'm not very proud of. Until right now, I've never looked at you for the reasons that you think. I sought you out and, and spent time with you for just one reason. To make your mother suffer. That's right. Centerville wasn't the first time I ever heard of Sandra Cummings. She touched my life years before. When I found her, when we met, it was the end of a long search. The reasons I hated her aren't important anymore. I was blaming her for something that, something she wasn't even guilty of. Something that become such a part of my life that I knew I had to make her suffer. But your mother told me how to do that. When she had Luke run off that young man that came to call on you. You were a weak link. I could get to her through you. Well, your mother suffered. Now my friends are wishing they weren't my friends anymore. The worst part of it is what I've done to you. And I don't know how to undo it. I wish I did, Paula. I wish I did. Oh, Coop, I'm so sorry for you. For me? After what I've done? Hit me or kick me, Paula, but don't be sorry for me. But you're the loser. You've lost more than anybody. There you have it. Dramatic acting, a beautiful singing voice, and yes, that was Cynthia Pepper doing her own singing. It's now trivia time. Cynthia was in the movie Kissin' Cousins with Elvis Presley. John Archer was in Blue Hawaii. K. L. Smith was in Roustabout and Paul Baxley was in Viva Las Vegas. All of these are Elvis movies. It's a small world in Hollywood. We hope you enjoyed this short tribute to the career of Hollywood actress, Cynthia Pepper. She talks about her Hollywood life in her award-winning book, Pigtails, Presley, and Pepper. It's available now at Amazon and at all reputable online stores.